Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 In this video, I'm going to show you all six versions of accident kills that are in this game. I'm going to be showing you multiple examples of each one. Well, apart from the fire and stuff like that, because it's very uncommon anyway. But I'm going to, the first one I'm going to be showing you is going to be the uh, accident falling objects. There's six of them in the game. So there's accident falling object, accident fall, explosion, electrocution, drowning, and fire. I'm going to show you multiple examples of each one so horn up first is the accident falling object so era throughout most of the maps you're going to have a lot of chandeliers around or things that you can drop on target's head with instincts you can highlight them uh with with your instincts like these chandeliers are highlighted so at the very start as an example of shooting the chandelier right at the very beginning dropping it on dahlia's head and it's a free accident kill for you if you wanted to take her out really quickly at the start so that's one example for paris and uh, there's multiple examples of this as well, including one for Sapienza, which is a very commonly used one. When you're luring Silvio Caruso into the to the mansion area, we can just drop this orbital thing on top of his head. I can't remember what it's called now. But yeah, I usually just keep my eye on my mini map, wait until he's in the middle of the room, drop that on his head. And again, it's a free accident falling object to kill. And it will confirm that by saying accident kill on the screen. And the, the good thing about accident kills is even if the bodies are found, it's not going to ruin your silent assassin rating. That's why it's so effective. Here's another one for Marrakesh, where we drop a moose on top of Strandberg's head. And that's actually required for one of the challenges as well. And you don't have to shoot them as well. You can actually activate them manually with a winch. But uh, it is an illegal action, so you just have to keep that in mind. But all of these are good examples of accident falling objects. So anything that you can see that's highlighted that can, you know, with instinct, you can pretty much shoot it or take it out to sabotage it, to drop it on someone's head. Next is going to be an accident fall. So a good example of this is in Paris. We can also double that up with an accident falling object as well for Novikov. So we've triggered the fireworks remote and it's triggered Dahlia to lean over this ledge. We push her off for an accident fall, simultaneously killing Novikov at the same time for an accident falling object. So it's a double accident kill in this very effective way of getting an easy silent assassin for Paris and it's one of my most favorite ones. But yeah, the push is a very common accident fall. It's probably the, one of the most common uh, accidents in the game. For Sapienza, we poison Caruso. And here's another good example of uh, the accident fall. So we poisoned this pasta and uh, he's come over here to be sick. And then you get a push prompt to eliminate. Just make sure no one's around spotting you while you're doing this. Otherwise, this is going to ruin your silent assassin. But obviously, if no one spots you doing this, uh, any kind of accident kill is completely fine. And you'll retain your silent assassin. Another one for Marrakesh is when Strandberg is coming over and leaning over this railing. And you'll, again, you'll get a push prompt. You can go ahead and push him off. Another good thing about this accident fall as well, you can subdue anyone, well, most basically your targets, subdue your targets and throw them off ledges, and you'll still get that accident kill. It's a good thing about accident falls. Same goes for falling objects as well. But the next one is accident explosions. Here's the first example. So we shot this lamp right here, this gas lamp. Dahlia goes outside to smoke a cigarette, and she will blow up. When you're setting up traps like this though, just keep in mind you only shoot this once, because if you shoot it twice, it will explode after your second shot. For uh, Sapienza, here's a good example as well. You can get a propane flask, and uh, when Francesca gets near the fire, we can just put it down this little chute, and it will go down into the fire and explode right in front of her. Now, it does knock out a guard there, but that's an accident knockout as well. That's a separate thing, but again, it, because it's an accident knockout, and while it kills Francesca as well for an accident kill, it won't, still won't ruin your silent assassin rating. So again, bottom left, you can see the green guns for silent assassin. You can set up traps as well, both propane flasks, if you want to. You just shoot it twice next to a target, blow it up by shooting it, and it's a free accident explosion. You could also do this with a breaching charge as well. So if you uh, have the propane flask in your hand, walk up to your target, go into your inventory, Select your breach and charge and drop it straight out of your inventory and trigger it immediately as you walk away. And you'll get a free accident kill. It won't work on fire extinguishers though, they will only trigger knockouts. Next is the accident ex electrocution. Now in some of these cases you will need a screwdriver, but in a lot of cases you don't because you can just shoot these things. 
So as an example, here is Dubai. So we're sabotaging this plug right here on the floor. And then we're using that screwdriver again to sabotage the water cooler. So that's set up all right there for electrocu electrocution kill setup. And uh, alternatively, if you don't have a screwdriver, you can shoot these objects. But I always recommend shooting the plug first before you shoot the uh, water cooler. Just in case you're around and you don't want to cause any further distractions. But as you can see, she walks over it. It's an electrocution kill. It's really cool where you're actually setting up a lot of traps. And there's going to be plenty of, the ob uh, plenty of these opportunities around the map when you see water coolers and plugs. Another example here is in Sapienza. So from the very start of the guards location, we can like turn on this uh, hose right here. That's going to create a puddle next to where Francesca is standing. And conveniently, there was another plug socket there as well for us to shoot. Alternatively, you can use a screwdriver on that as well. But because there's so many guards around, I wouldn't recommend it. But after a while, she does come back. And then you can shoot that socket right there. And it's, a, again, a free electrocution kill. This is actually tied to one of the challenges as well, which is, I think it's called Shocking. I'm not completely sure. But yeah. Here's another example in uh, Marrakesh, which we turned on the lamp right over there. This is where Schranberg will lean over the railing. And again, if you don't have a screwdriver, you can shoot this lamp. It doesn't matter. You don't need a, a screwdriver for it. You can just go ahead and shoot it straight away. And that will electrify the whole entire metal pole that's going along the fence. And after a while, Schranberg will come back and he will lean over the ledge and get you'll get a free electrocution fill, kill. So you could set this up. And in the meantime, you could go to uh, Zaydan and... Do what you need to do with Zaydan, and this will take care of itself. You don't have to be here while this is happening. And again, this is a, this is linked to a challenge as well. But it's just a good way of setting up a load of traps. Electrocution kills are very good for that. Here's a, something else you can do as well if you have the micro taser. So what you could do is just overflow a sink if you want to distract your target, and then you put the uh, the micro taser in the puddle of water. And when your target goes to investigate the the sound or whatever. You can go ahead and trigger that uh, remote taser, the micro remote taser that is, and you'll get a free electrocution kill. You, you can do this with anybody. You can also drag their bodies onto these pools and do the same thing. And that's that's regarding every as well, like uh, falling objects, fall and fire, electrocution and all sorts. So just keep in mind you can subdue these people, but as long as the body isn't found before you kill them, it's uh, it's fine. Next is going to be accident drowning. And you can do this by setting up coins around the toilets to uh, get your car, get your targets or whoever you want to to have a look at the coin, get near the toilet, and you'll have the drown prompt pop up for you. This can be a little bit tricky though, so I would highly recommend if you are going for drowning kills, make sure you use a poison emetic uh, in their drinks or a poison emetic syringe or a poison emetic uh, seeker one rifle, the, the gun I should say, the seeker one gun. And that will get you free uh, emetics. So that will basically make your target sick. And they'll head to the bathroom and you can drown them. Another good way of making drown them is uh, in Haven Island. It's a good example. Uh, you could create a target lock down here for Ludmilla. She will go down into this water because it's shallow water. You can also do this in Hokkaido as well. But what she'll do, she'll rush down these stairs. You can shoot her in the leg. Or you can get a muffin if you want to. And she will fall over in the water and her head will go straight into the water and it will immediately count as a drowning. So it's kind of a funny way and a quick way to actually take out some of your targets. But it's very selective in doing that, of course. But I would, I would just recommend sticking to emetics. Next is accident fire. So you could, you'll could, see a lot around the maps, you'll see a lot of these big huge oil barrels like this so you can sabotage it with a wrench or alternatively you can shoot it but if you want to draw less attention i would just use the wrench but you can shoot those little valves if you want to my pavadi will come along eventually you shoot the uh, puddle of oil that's on the floor that'll ignite it and of course cause an accident kill for fire but there's very few far and few in between these uh, opportunities for fire but you want to be looking out for these big red barrels right here these will contain all the, all the gasoline you need. You pierce it with a screwdriver or you can just shoot it once. And then once the target goes over to investigate by planting a coin or something, you can go ahead and shoot the oil. But that's all six accident kills that are in the game. And hopefully you've learned something there. This is mainly for new players that aren't experienced, but 
if you, even if you are an experienced player, you might even uh, pick a, pick something up here. But there's plenty, like there's dozens, there's, there's countless <laughs> opportunities for accidents in the game, and it's one of the best ways to take out your targets, in my opinion, other than poisoning. So overall, that's going to do it for this video. So hopefully you've uh, enjoyed this little video. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Drop a like on it as well. And uh, if you consider supporting me on Patreon, if you want to, hit the bell notification. There's a link in the description of my Patreon and uh, the membership scheme and stuff like that. Also a big shout out to Paul Lilly, Big D, Bedry, Argel, uh, Mark David, Constantine Mueller, Crazy Jesus, The Shafe, Isar Blake, and Nico Senpai. I really do appreciate your Psycho Assassin support. I'll see you later. Cheers.